Hi, welcome to our home security camera video. And in this video, we'll be making a do-it-yourself home security system using a Raspberry Pi and a Python script. So for the materialist, first and foremost, you'll be needing a Raspberry Pi. In this tutorial, we'll be using a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, which isn't the newest model, but it is cheaper and it gets the job done well enough. From there, you'll be needing a micro SD card. A Pi case is optional, but a necessity is the Pi camera module, because of course, this is where we'll be recording the video, this is what we'll be running the script on, and this will be detecting the motion. And then you'll be needing Python installed on the Pi with two main libraries, OpenCV and NumPy. Um, you can download these on the command line using pip install, but the most important one here is OpenCV because this is what the algorithm is dependent on to detect motion. We'll be converting each frames into contours and then comparing them against future frames using Gaussian blur. And um, if there's any difference, that's what the motion is detected based on. From there, you'll be using the Twilio API for WhatsApp. Twilio is a useful software platform that allows you to manipulate messages, voice calls, video. But we'll be using the API for WhatsApp because we'll be wanting to send notifications to your phone if there is motion detected. And it'll be a short clip or a few frames of the motion to see if any further action is necessary or if it's just something like a stray cat or something. Today I'll be discussing the Twilio side of the project. So first, uh, the project name is irrelevant. So we just went with my Twilio project. You can obviously edit this later. As you can see here, I'll just keep it the same. So programming language, you want to be set to Python. Now trial number is given by Twilio, so you'll need this to keep this in mind for later. Account SID, you're gonna need authentication token you're gonna need. Initially it's gonna be as hide, but then you'll be able to click show and you'll be able to see it. Now let's go into Visual Studio. So this is the constants uh, Python file that I kept for organization purposes. So you're gonna have your Twilio account SID, your Twilio authentication token, your phone number, and your own cell phone number so you can see for proof. And then let's go into the main part. So then here's where I call the constant Python file. So then to initialize connection, you wanna create a client connection. You need uh, your account SID for it and your authentication token. So for general purpose of this part of the project, you can create a simple message from uh, Twilio's phone number that will be sent to your cell phone number and you can put any message you want in here and that will be all for this part of the project. So in this section of the video, we'll be explaining how the script itself works. Uh, at the top, you'll be needing to import all the necessary libraries, of course. We've got CV2, NumPy, PyCamera, Twilio, and PyInger. Now PyInger is useful because it allows us to upload the images we've detected to Imgur and from that, we can use that URL with Twilio to send the image to your phone. So you can actually see what you've detected. Um, we'll be leaving the pip installs for these in the description so you can get the setup and running for yourself. From there, we initialize the Raspberry Pi camera to 640, 480 resolution and 30 frame rates. You can play around with these yourself, but it's not a big deal. It'll just be the window you'll be viewing. Then we give the camera time to power on, which we'll do by sleeping for two seconds. We initialize the reference variable to none. This isn't important right now, but it'll be important later. Then we fill out the necessary client IDs. We've mentioned this before, so I won't go too into detail about this now. And then we set the path to your Imgur account to your upload detected images. This is what you'll be using to upload to Imgur. And then we initialize the environment constants. Now we're going to go over the main loop. So the main gist is that we go over each frame and compare it against future frames and compare the differences. So this is done by converting each um, frame to gray and blurring via Gaussian blur. From there, we can highlight the contours or outlines of each object in a frame and see if there are any differences from the previous ones. If the reference is none, we initialize a baseline for future comparison, and we convert it to a flow or a numerical value so we can contribute to the average of all the frames. The average is important as when using a home security system, you don't want to be capturing small things like the weather, which gradually change over time. Then we calculate the change between the current frame and previous frame and set a threshold for difference to be recognized in motion. Then we dilate and iterate to smooth over fine discrepancies and convert the difference to contours. And if the contour exceeds 500 pixels in area, we highlight it with a blue rectangle and consider it as a detected motion. Then we create an image and uh, send, that to a send that to your local folder and we upload it to Imgur. Then using that Imgur URL, we send it to your WhatsApp via Twilio as a detected object. Then we sleep for a second at the end as well so it doesn't spam your messages of the same thing being detected. And then we display this as a window as well, so you can see a live feed of the camera and reset the frame afterwards. So now we're going to go show a quick demo of how it actually works and see it in action. Right here we have a Raspberry Pi 3B with a camera module and a ribbon cable. You can, it's, a re it's a relatively cheap PC that you can buy off Amazon for 40 to 60 Canadian dollars. So now we've got the terminal open and we're just going to see how it looks. We run it and it takes a while to start up. 
Now we've got the camera feed, and this is how it works in action. We've got someone walking in, it detects it, pauses, and now it sends it to a notification to your phone. As you can see here. We've got a few pictures of the detect motion.